Hey guys, it's Ellen here. It's another Mindy Monday Madness. And we're painting a mini acrylic painting of birch trees. This is so simple and easy to do and lots of fun. I'm changing it up today, no watercolor, I'm doing acrylic. Um, just basically a little three inch by three inch canvas, some simple paints, and one little brush. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section and let's get started. Okay, for supplies, I have a piece of, uh, well, I have a mini three, was it three inch by three inch little canvas. Um, they come black, but I painted mine black because it came white. You can get these at any craft store. You see them everywhere. I have a little flat um, acrylic brush, a uh, half inch. And then I have another little craft uh, artist loft number four. Pretty inexpensive um, brush, bristle brush you can use to paint. The paints I put down, just fairly simple. These are Liquitex uh, basic paints. Orange, cadmium red, yellow, deep, lime green. This is a hooker's green, kind of a phthalo green. A lemon yellow, black, and white. Paper towel, and we have a water jar up here. It's a little shiny because of the light, but. Um, I always like to paint my canvas black because uh, basically I think the colors are more vibrant that way. And so we're going to start by just mixing up some greens. And uh, a little dark green here. I have that that cooker's green I was telling you about. That makes a little black in there, make it even darker. And I'm just going to make like little leaves, just dabbing it on the canvas. You can just use the edge. We're just having fun dabbing the color green, dark green. Just having fun. Um, if you don't like that, you want to use this brush instead. Just go ahead and if it feels like it's more like leaves to you. So I'm going to add that color again. So just mix the black with the green. I'm just going to go on top here. Just making marks that look like flying leaves <laughs> everywhere. And then I'll add my light green to this color. And I'll take that regular green. And I'm going to do a bunch of, we're just going to be doing the same thing. We're going to be adding just these little marks, like these leaves. Right everywhere. All over. Just like that. And even some lighter green ones again. Maybe add some of that yellow, lemon yellow to it. Just making marks like leaves floating in the distance. I'm keeping the ones that are dark on the bottom here. We'll be adding some yellows and other colors too to make the birch trees. But for now, we're just doing those colors. Building. See, I'm adding the light green again. I'm going to clean up my brush. Up here, I'm going to add that lime green, yellow, the green, excuse me, green, yellow color. Maybe add a little more. Just medium green to it. Sporadically making leaves here. We're just building up layers here. Now I'm going to add in some of this lime yellow, the green. This will all make sense real soon. There's some more yeah, cadmium yellow deep in here. Put that up in there. Some down here. Throw in a little white. All right, we're going to keep building on this. All right, so I'm going to clean my brush off. 
going to grab some of the white, white, plain, and we're going to make our trees. We're just going to take the paint and go down here. Don't worry if you get some of the paint on it. If you want to wait till it dries, we can do that. We're just going to flush out where the tree is going to go. Another one over here. So don't worry about the fact that it's mixing with the paint and it's turning it kind of green. It's just solidifying where we're going to put the trees. You could put a branch on this one. That might be a little too big. Another one here. And another one here. You can make it kind of fatter too, fat and skinny. Some branches up here if you want. Another branch here. So we flushed in where the trees are going. So like I said, don't worry about it, the fact that if it's got this lime green color now because you've put the white paint down and it's mixed in with the greens. Gonna go back and take our cat man yellow, a little bit of orange, some white. Gonna start mixing up some oranges and yellows. Got this yellow here. We're just gonna start putting these little leaves in. Now at this point, if it's still kind of mushing the color in and it's not going on top, we're going to dry it and come back. So I think I'm going to dry this just with a hairdryer just to get that first layer dried so we can go back on top with the second layer. All right, so I've dried my first layer. I'll clean my brush off again. I can go back and grab this white paint. And you can put the white on top of that greenish white that you had before. Go right ahead in there. We're going to put some gray tones with it. Really simple. White right back on top. Okay. Grab some of this black and some of the white. Make a really pale gray. Just throw in some of that on the side. Just like that. Just a little pale gray on the side. And on the side of this twig, and this twig. At this point, if you wanted to take your black and just make those little lines going across the uh, birch tree lines, just these little cross lines, see? Just making the little lines that go across. Let me zoom in a little more. Those simple little black lines and then we're going to dry this again and we're going to stop putting the leaves see I'm just making little dash lines sporadically some are shorter some are longer some can be clustered a little bit on one side while it's still kind of wet you know the acrylic paint because we'll give it more of a natural look to it so this because it will tone down with the gray the black naturally put this up here all right that's pretty simple 
See, I'm wishing that a little. I'm wishing this a little bit more. you get the idea. I've had a little, <clears throat> little darker gray on the side, just a little bit. Okay, so we're going to dry this again and come back. Alrighty, now that that's dry, we're going to build up some more layers. <clears throat> Excuse me, I feel like I'm losing my voice of greens. Okay, so we're mixing up some more like light greens and yellows. See, I put this like really limish green color. And I'm making like, just floating that color in between. Grab some more of that dark green. Got a little yellow on there. Take some of this yellow, some yellow in here. I'm gonna clean up our brush. I'm gonna start grabbing some of these yellows. So I have that white with the cadmium yellow deep, a little bit of that orange. So I'm just dabbing in some of this color throughout. Here, you can put a little bit of the leaves on top of the um, birch trees. So I made some, uh, you can see this yellow here, yellow orange color. And just dabbing it like you see here for the leaves. Just dabbing it. And if it goes on top of the white birch, that's perfect because you want it to kind of be all over the place, right? Look like real leaves. They wouldn't just be sitting there on the back. Put some down in between the trees down here. Take that white. Get some light yellow. Get that light green and some of the dark green. It's still in there. It's so easy to do this. It's a little fun thing to do. Add some more orange too if you want to. Just put it in little spots. Not too much of it, just a little bit. More of the yellow. Grab some more of that cabin yellow, put that on top. Gonna make some more white with that. I really want this kind of thick paint. And I'm just gonna just tap it like that. Some yellow down here in between tree. Again, grab some more of that paint. Don't be afraid to keep putting a lot so it's fairly thick on top. And I got this really pretty birch tree. Mini acrylic painting. If you want to go back in and highlight some more of the tree, I'll just clean up my brush. I'll grab some more of this white. Go back in. Put it here where it seems like it was still a little bit greenish. Kind of pop it out by adding some more white. It'll really pop up. More on like one side, 
as you can see here. So it's like the sun hitting the side. And this is so easy, right? You just got those fall colors, a little mini canvas. Seriously, I think you guys could totally do this. Anybody could do this. And it's still back in here. You can throw in, you know, some darker greens. Take that black and the green. Just dab it in here. But if you want it all like yellow behind the trees, you could do that too. Depends on how you want it to look, you know. It's all on how you feel. But really, just take some yellow, some whites, a little bit of orange here and there. I like to throw in a little bit just to punch it up. Those leaves moving all around like they're flying in the air. Just like that. And like I said, you go back in and you can put a couple of really dark black, I mean not dark black, but just since it was gray when you painted it, you can go back in, add some true black lines and highlights. See, I'm just going in and adding some more. That's where I feel like it needs it. But that's pretty much it. Look how cute. Mini birch tree on oh, Mini Monday Madness. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. So yeah, just look a fun little thing you can do. I mean, you, you see how easy it was? You could do that. You just have to paint colors. I actually put too much paint out. You only need a little bit. You can buy these little teeny tubes too. They come in a set. Um, it's Artist Loft, pretty cheap at Michael's. But I use some, these other ones, I use a, a basic Liquitex series. And I actually had the two brushes, but I only ended up using this teeny little craft brush, um, and then before from Artist Loft on the little mini canvas. So I like that. So uh, thanks guys for stopping by. Don't forget to check out my Patreon. Each week I do exclusive tutorials and I have some downloads there. And my amazing art channel, which is my actual acrylic channel, which is kind of fun. Um, it's, you know, on my description box and my about page. So take care, guys. Enjoy painting your mini Monday Madness birch tree. Bye-bye.